What's up everybody welcome back to Exotica Slow again and today we will discuss on Dhanteras. What is Dhanteras and what should we do during Dhanteras? It's a beautiful festival in the calendar <laughs> and also in India and within the Hindu community and in many parts of the world also wherever the Hindu community is active it is celebrated and it should be celebrated in fact and Teras and Dhan is together. <laughs> Teras is what? Teras is Trayodashi, the 13th uh, lunar month, the 13th uh, Tithi, sorry, the lunar day, as you say, Tithi, the distance between sun and the moon. Therefore, Dhan Teras, it means that Trayodashi, where money flows. <laughs> it simply means that. And who do we honor? And yes, before beginning, as I say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will be there, especially on the day of Dhanteras. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. I don't know what you're waiting for. <laughs> and if you're interested to do some donation, then the link to PayPal is there in the comments. And continue watching this video till the end. So when the Sagar Manthan was going on, what is Sagar Manthan? If somebody is not from India or Vedic culture, then let me give you an introduction. What happened is there was a big discussion one day in the higher planetary systems about churning the milk ocean, which is there somewhere in this universe. <laughs> then it was decided that the demons and the demigods, the devatas and the asuras, they will churn it together. Yes. And then what will happen is different valuable things will come out from the ocean and then what will happen is they will enjoy both of them and then ultimately the amrit will come out they decided to take certain things which will come out one party decided i will take this then the other party decided okay this we will take yes and then there are there were certain other things which came out like for example uh, poison came out which is what halahal halahal poison is the very deadly poison which lord shiva came and drank it mercifully and the uh, other poisonous uh, animals the insects the snakes scorpions they also took part in that and that is why they are considered to be poisonous <laughs> and along with that um, lakshmi devi also came out Lakshmi Devi was finding a was trying to find a perfect husband, but she couldn't find anybody. She found that everybody has some flaw, and that is why ultimately when she saw Lord Vishnu, she felt that yes, he is perfect. He is all in all. He's the best. That is why she went and garlanded him. And there you go, Lakshmi and Narayana together always. And there was Dhanvantari also who took out the pot. And then Dhanvantari was a very strong person and although Dhanvantari was a strong person actually he was a incarnation of Vishnu only he was the one who came out with the nectar the Amrit yes then what happened although he was a very strong person but the demons snatched it from him and then the demons started fighting among each other <laughs> These demons are com compared to the uh, communists of today who say that no, no, everything should be equal because if you read Srimad Bhagavatam, there, uh, when the uh, it's very funny if you read it. <laughs> I wish I could have read it, but uh, I will just tell it what it is. So, when the uh, pot of nectar came out, the Amrit, then what happened? These demons, they there was a, there were big demons and there were inferior demons now weak demons <laughs> strong and weak even within demons there are strong demons weak demons so the stronger demons started telling that yes 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 we will share it among ourselves <laughs> and then the weak demons the weaker ones they started telling no 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 you should not share among only yourself you should share with everybody this is like the communist <laughs> communist capitalist see they are there in the demoniac groups also. <laughs> the, the bigger one said, no, 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 we will take it and share. And the, commun the weaker one said, no, no, you should equally distribute to everybody. And then Lord Vishnu took incarnation as Mohini Murti. And then he came and he uh, allured the uh, demons. And then after that, he distributed the nectar to the devatas. And then here comes the story of Rahu Ketu, as we all know. 
the son of Simhika, who was one of the demons who was sitting there. His name was Swarabhanu, and he took the form of a demigod, and he was sitting there because he was suspicious. <laughs> He was always suspicious because he knew that Lord Vishnu will do something or the other. Therefore, what happened is he went and he started sitting on the side of the demigods. And then he also got the nectar. He was just drinking and it just reached his neck. And then Lord Vishnu as the Mohini Murti took the Sudarshan Chakra and he or she, whatever you call <laughs> Mohini Murti chopped off Swarabhanu's head. And then the head was separated and the body was separated. But because the nectar had reached the neck, he became immortal. And the head part is known as Rahu, as we all know. And the remaining body is the Ketu. Yes. <laughs> and then came Rahu Ketu. And they have the power to eclipse the sun and moon also. So now in Dhanteras, Dhanvantari is worshipped because Dhanvantari had the nectar. So, on Dhanteras, Lakshmi Devi is also worshipped and according to the local Panchang, according to the local Muhurat in your place, you can worship Lakshmi by whichever way it is comfortable for you or by consulting the local Pandit um, because there are so many other specific things related to the place which I will not be able to tell here. But you can recite any mantra of Lakshmi or you can worship Lakshmi by any standard procedure which is followed in your place. And for some places uh, the festivals come at different times. So depending on that you can see when to do and which mudra to apply. You can contact the local pandits for that. So that is one thing. And the remaining thing is uh, for Dhanvantari because he had the pot of nectar. So nectar signifies immortality which is what health and prosperity rejuvenation, power, strength, bodily luster, bodily vitality, all these things. So it is very great day to honor uh, the doctors which uh, who have treated us actually. So it is a great day that we go and pay our respects to them. We at least give them a phone call and say them thank you that you have treated us very well maybe. And if you have seen my other videos, I had made a video on... Um, my teeth which I had treated in July almost three months back and then there was a lady doctor Dr. Johanna who treated my teeth and then she also sponsored my fees I didn't have to pay a single penny <laughs> so these are great people who we should thank yes or even if you know somebody who is a great doctor or who is about to be a doctor or who has treated somebody or any healer doctor doesn't only mean the allopathic doctor he can be he or she can be any um, homeopathic doctor ayurvedic doctor or anybody who is connected to uh, things like uh, betterment improving others helping others social service workers people who are doing things for others selflessly without any money without any expectation without any hope okay there are so many healers psychic healers there are so many astrologers also <laughs> So, we can always uh, go and uh, pay our respects to them. Apart from doing the puja of Lakshmi and uh, Kuber and all these people who we all know. But uh, honoring Dhanvantari on Dhanteras is very important because he signifies the ability to be healthy. Yes, because he has the pot of nectar. Because nectar is what? Amrit. It is like Amrita. Mrita means death. A means no. No death. <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean we become immortal. But uh, Amrit simply means that if you if you take, you have a long, very long life. Yes, maybe like the demigods, hundred thousand years, <laughs> million years. <laughs> you may not live that much, of course. Even if you live till eighty, it's a big achievement in this Kali Yuga, at, at least in the twenty first century. But the essence of whatever I am saying is that. It is important that we honor them, especially Dhanvantari and Lakshmiji, Kuber, Ganesh, all these personalities. And we especially thank the doctors or whoever has nourished us, even our mother or anybody who has given us things. Yes, And we try to do some donation. We try to do some charity. We try our best that we can do things for people on Dhanteras. And another thing we should do is especially clean our home very properly because it is said uh, when we clean our home we are letting Lakshmiji come inside 
okay and by that lakshmi stays in the home and the most important thing that you should do in dhanteras is you don't do anything no problem but this thing you must do you should honor deities regarding related to lord vishnu for example krishna ram narayan vishnu because ultimately lakshmi ji will only stay where lord vishnu is right because lakshmi ji's name is chanchala one who moves from here to there she doesn't stay fixed in one place because and because of that what happens is people don't stay rich forever yes some people are rich sometimes and then after some time they become poor some people may become beggars also some people from beggars they may become millionaires that's why they say from rags to riches riches to rags maybe <laughs> but wherever lord vishnu is there wherever lord narayan is there wherever lord krishna ram hari is there she will always reside there because she is his eternal consort she is eternally residing as uh, the shrivatsa in lord vishnu's uh, neck uh, that sorry chest as the symbol shrivatsa therefore wherever lord vishnu is lakshmi ji will always be there without any doubt you do this or you don't do that it doesn't matter she will always be there therefore it is very important that we apart from doing a uh, worship of dhanvantari lakshmi ganesh and all these people <laughs> we also primarily after cleaning our home after cleaning our house after doing charity after doing dan we read uh, texts like the bhagavad gita which lord krishna has spoken because after that what will happen is we are invoking lord vishnu's presence when you are reading the bhagavad gita because krishna is non different from vishnu yes there is no difference both are the same so then when we read it then it's a great day to start something new actually and then by that we ensure that lakshmi devi stays she doesn't move around she doesn't home or around here there <laughs> today she is in our home and today she tomorrow she has gone to some other home of course she may be there everywhere we don't we have no problem if others have lakshmi as well yes but the point is if you have lord narayan on your side then lakshmi ji will automatically stay you you don't have to do much because wherever lord narayan is in his lotus feet lakshmi ji is always there she is always massaging his feet yes therefore you do not need to do any exclusive puja for lakshmi ji if you do that therefore tomorrow is perhaps the best day to start reading the gita or uh, reading anything related to lord vishnu or even reading the ramayan because diwali uh, is coming after two days on 19th i guess diwali is there and here in germany in gottingen university we are having a beautiful celebration on 21st saturday so if there is somebody who is in germany who is watching this somebody is interested to come then you can contact me in my mail you can come to gottingen and we have a great celebration here so please come so that is it from my side dhanteras lakshmi ji doctors and the bhagavad gita three take away points okay if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video then see my other videos there are so many videos i have made for you only and if you want me to make videos on anything else then please let me know in the comment section i try my best to answer each and every comment unless it is regarding your personal horoscope that has to be done only in a personal consultation because i cannot give predictions in the air without seeing the horoscope okay until next time wish you great dhanteras bye bye see you